guys. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you why being a musician um, can be beneficial to you, not only to expand your brain size, but to, um, in a lot of ways, um, just help you express your uh, physical emotions. For example, you see two instruments here. That I play sax. <laughs> I play sax, and I also, I know this more than I do piano, but I teach myself piano every now and then, teach myself a song, and the song lately I've been practicing so I can get it right all the time. But we're living here in Allentown, and they're closing all the factories down. Um, being a musician is proven to use both halves of your brain, although that is truly a myth. You use your whole brain. It's just you choose the way you choose to use it makes people act like they use ten percent of their brain only. For example. Um, it's been proven by science that if someone has a porn addiction, if they don't watch it moderately, if they watch it 24-7, their brain shrinks. I mean, doesn't physically like, it doesn't shrink like that, no. They, figuratively, what they mean by shrink is that the brain chemistry is knocked off and you have a certain uh, perception of what's like supposed to be like. Um, that could go with your brain shrinks in a lot of ways. If you listen to, like, this stuff that they call music, that's just all electronic stuff. Your brain can sh uh, figurati figuratively shrink like that. Because when you see someone playing a saxophone, and they could be playing a Beatles song, <laughs> They can improvise, but you know the person's playing an actual instrument. But when you hear something like this, If you hear that, you obviously know that's not a real sax, that's an electric piano, and someone's playing the notes to make it sound like an alto saxophone. You just can't dupe people. Well, music business has been proven to dupe people into thinking electronic sound is a real instrument. Now, the piano itself, this... This is a true electric piano, but yet, what's on the grand piano function, it's an actual piano at that point. But if you have it on a different function, this is a Casio piano, if you have it on a... Uh, You know that's obviously noise at that point. So when it's on this function, you know that's you're hearing a real piano sound, but if you're hearing a sax sound off it, No, that's not a real sax. So point being is, being a musician 
You could take up any instrument, violin, tenor, sax, alto, trombone, uh, trumpet, whatever, but know when you're playing it, you're playing real music compared to what's on the radio. So being a musician helps you a lot. Not only function as a good ear when you're listening to the radio, but just as a person individ individually. It's been proven that musicians, in a lot of ways, are the most caring people compared to comedians. I know you're saying, but that's not all comedians. Yeah, I understand. I know Jerry Seinfeld is a very compassionate human being. He's a great comedian, but besides that passionate com human being, just like Larry David, I get that. But it's because they're partially musicians. Yes, you're thinking, Larry David, a musician? Yes. He knows how to play trumpet. He doesn't play it anymore, but he knows how to play trumpet because he played in high school. Jerry Seinfeld played clarinet in high school. He doesn't play it anymore, but he played clarinet in high school. They're, par they're partially musicians, so that adds the compassion of a person, and it's been proven musicians are a little more compassionate than, let's just say, the common factory worker. Just pointing it out.